Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, today's collar is fall themed and it is going to be an adjustable pericord collar so I am going to be using um, Biothene for the adapter. The colors that I'm going to be using today are Imperial Red. That is what I have my double cow's hitch hooked up to. If you don't know how to do a double cow's hitch, I will leave a link below for you guys. We're also going to be using Burgundy. Golden Rod. Brown. Burnt Orange. And Moss Green. The way you're going to cut these four cords for your project is whatever you would use on a regular collar you're going to cut that in half and then that measurement is what you're going to measure out for these particular cords. For this collar I need 13 feet of cord and um, I cut that in half which would be six and a half feet and then each of these cords are six and a half feet. You're then going to take your ends of your cord, the golden rod and the orange, and you're going to fuse them together. And then you're going to take the moss green and the brown and you're going to fuse them together. And I'll show you how to do that real fast. I have the moss green and the orange and I'm going to melt the two ends and then once they're melted you're going to want to stick them together. So I'm just going to melt the ends. So I'm going to melt the ends. Just make a like a mushroom cap on it and then you're going to stick them together and hold it just for you know a few seconds or whatever and let it um, cool and then I could start using it and that's how you fuse them together to start, I'm going to be weaving in the burgundy, and I am just going to go right in between these two double cow's hitches. So I'm just going to go right through them. Just like that, and I'm going to pull this cord now to the other side, and I'm going to go to the middle of the burgundy. The next color that I'm going to be adding is the moss green, but it is fused with the brown also. And what I want to do here is I'm going to go right through the two cow's hitches, just like I did before with the burgundy. And I'm just going to pull this also to the other side and to the middle. So when you get to the middle of your cord you're going to have that area where you fuse together and it's going to be like a little bit thicker in that spot so you're going to want to loosen these um, stitches up a little bit these cow hitches and just kind of place that in the middle Just like that, you can see that's where my um, spot is where I fused it together. Next I'm going to add the golden rod which is fused with the burnt orange. And this time I'm just going to go through these um, two middle stitches. So you're going to go through one cow's hitch, go underneath two stitches, and then come back up the other cow's hitch and pull that also all the way through to the middle. Once you have everything um, to the middle you can tighten it up 
and I did roll up all of my ends and we can just get started. So for this collar you're going to start off with the red on your right side and you're just going to go underneath this first cord on your right, right up the middle and then over this second cord on your left. Next you're going to take your red on your left side and you're going to go underneath your work and now you're going to go underneath this first cord that's on your left right up the middle and over that second cord on the right take your burgundy on the right side now you're going to go underneath all of your work and you're going to come right up the middle so come right up the middle then you have this loop that is on your right side that you just made with the red you're going to go down that loop Take the burgundy on the left now, go underneath all your work and right up the middle. And then you have this loop on your left side that you made with the red, you're going to go down that loop. You're now going to find the two horizontal red pieces that is in the middle you're going to take your um, brown now and what you're going to do is you're going to go around those two horizontal red pieces and go out the right so take your brown on your right go over and then around them and out the right now you're going to take your moss and you're going to go around those two horizontal pieces but instead of going to the right you're going to go to the left. So take your moss, go over those two horizontal pieces, around them and to the left. Next you're going to take your burnt orange and you're going to do the same thing that you did with the brown. You're going to go around those two horizontal pieces and you're going to go out the right side. So go over and around and out the right side. Your goldenrod on the left side and now you're going to go around and out to the left. So you go around those two horizontal pieces and then out to the left and then you can tighten it up. Once you have it tightened you can start that weave all over again so you're going to start with your imperial red on the right side and you're just going to go under the first cord right up the middle and over that second cord. Take your imperial red on the left side and go underneath the cord that you just worked up through the middle and then over that right cord. Take your burgundy now you're going to go underneath all of your work right up the middle and then down this loop on your right side take the one on the left now you're going to go underneath your work up through the middle and then down that loop on your left side find those two horizontal pieces pull them up a little bit take your brown now and you're just going to do exactly what you did before. You're just going to go around them and then go out the right. So go over and around those two horizontal pieces and out to the right. Take the moss on your left side. Do the same. Just go out to the left. So go around and then out to the left. Next you're going to take your burnt orange, you're going to do the same, just go around and out to the right. So you go over and around and out to the right. Take your goldenrod on the left side and now you're going to go around and out to the left. So you go around those two horizontal pieces 
and then out to the left and then you can tighten it up. Once it's tight, you can just start right from the back from the beginning. So take your Imperial Red that is on your right side, go underneath the first cord, over the second cord. Take your Imperial Red on the left side, go underneath the cord that you just worked, go underneath that first cord and over that second cord. So you come in right up the middle. Take your Burgundy on the left side, sorry, take your Take your burgundy on the right side. You're going to go underneath your work and then right up the middle. And then down this loop on the right. Take the one on the left. Go underneath. Up through the middle and then down that loop on the left. Now take your brown. Now find those two horizontal red pieces. Pull up on them a little bit. Take your brown now and go over and around and out the right side. Take your moss green that's on your left side, go around those two horizontal pieces and out the left. Take the burnt orange on your right side, go around those two horizontal pieces and out the right. Take your golden rod on the left, go around those two horizontal red pieces and out the left, and now you can just tighten it up. So this is what it's um, going to be looking like. I went one more down so I can show you um, a, a bigger a section done. And that's really all it is, is just this one weave all the way down and I'm going to continue this weave all the way down and show you guys how I do my tie off and what it looks like with the biothene on. Okay, I'm at the end of my collar. I took it off the jig and we can get started weaving in these um, top cords. So um, what I'm going to do is start off with the green or the moss green. I'm going to start off with the one that's on uh, all the way to the right and what I want to do is I have a really small gap between my work and the double cow hitches and that's where I want to um, put this cord so I'm just gonna push it through to the other side and I also want to do the same thing with the um, brown cord for the golden rod and um, the burnt orange, what I want to do with those two cords is I want to put them through this tiny hole that you have between the two cow's hitches and I'm just going to put both cords through that hole. Once you have that done, we can start to cut and burn the ends. I am going to start off on my side and I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch up from the collar. I'll cut those. I'm going to fray them out. I'm going to burn them one at a time and I'm also going to be squishing them down with a butter knife. So you're just going to melt the top and then push it down. I'll do the same for the red cord as well as the two other cords that are coming out of the opposite side. Once you have the two sides done, you can start with your middle cords. I'm going to be doing them one at a time and um, I'll be cutting them one at a time. So I'll start with the brown that's on the side. I'll cut it just about the same length. I will fray it out and burn it and squish it.
and I will do the same for the rest of the cords. I'll cut one at a time. If you cut them one at a time, it's easier to hold them out of the way. Uh, sometimes I forget to do that, but it does make it a little bit easier to hold them out of the way when you're you know, burning them. So once you have it all um, squashed down, you can use the collar as is. You can attach your bio thing to it or leather adapter, whichever one you're using, and you can use it right away. I um, do put some Gorilla non-foaming clear glue on my ends where I uh, did the tie off. And this is just for a little bit of extra security. Um, all you have to do is put a little bit on, rub it around with your finger on those ends that you just uh, burnt and squashed down and let it dry. And that's what I'm going to do. And I will show you guys what it looks like with, when it's dry and it has the biothene adapter on.